This is the renewable energy target. We like to call him the RET for short. He's a busy little guy, and he's been working really hard to keep Australia's emissions down. The Australia Institute's research shows that people love renewable energy, even more than they hate using dirty energy. A whopping 86% of people think we need more renewable energy, and over 70% support the RET. He only costs $1.40 a week, and it's because of the RET that we now have the renewable energy that we do. That's important because renewable energy can actually keep the price of electricity down, just like wind farms did for South Australia last summer. Not only is it very cheap, it also saves us money in the long term. The RET is also great at reducing emissions. By 2020, he will have saved us about 78 million tonnes of greenhouse gas emissions. That's 15 to 20% of the emissions reduction target all on his own. The current target is only five years old. Imagine what he'll be able to do by the time he's all grown up. Gas prices are set to increase soon. That means that people who use gas because it's cheap will swap to electricity. Without the RET, we're heading straight back into the arms of dirty coal and will become even more reliant on it in the future. In fact, dirty old power stations that have been closed down may have to reopen to meet demand. The government is blaming the RET for increasing electricity prices, but those price rises are mostly due to gold plating infrastructure. The Abbott government doesn't like the RET. It thinks if it can change how we feel about the RET, they'll be able to get rid of him. Don't let them. Let's look after the RET the way he looks after us. Contact the Australia Institute for more information.